Hi everyone, this is Kimia Jaberi. I am here to talk to you about my two weeks of preparations of the UK clinical aptitude test. Now, before you start watching this video, what I mean by two weeks of preparation is basically me just to start, basically me just doing the two weeks of preparation and um, doing a review of how I did on this two weeks. This is not going to be only two weeks of preparations until my exam. Definitely you shouldn't be doing that and it's not going to work. So if you are watching this video for the um, fast way in or easy way in or you know just preparing for the small amount of time, I definitely recommend you not doing so because it doesn't work and um, there has been many people um, trying that which have come to either a low score of UK CAT, which leads to you not getting into medical school, or a high score, which still was not enough to get into medical school. What I'm going to do in this video is to talk you through what I did during the, my first two weeks of preparation, and what I'm doing now, right now, and what I'm going to do for uh, until my exam. So first of all, I've got six weeks left to my exam, which I will do a review. Uh, after two weeks again to talk to you about, you know, uh, have I improved my scores, does my tips really work, or advices that I'm getting from the books that I'm going to recommend to you, uh, do they work or not. So, um, basically, I started to about a month ago preparing for my UK CAT and um, so basically I did two weeks of preparation and then I had two weeks of gap between the two weeks of preparation that I did initially and now. So basically these two weeks that I didn't prepare uh, was due to the fact that unfortunately we decided to move out, move houses and you know um, there has been many stressful events going on that I didn't really have time to prepare for my UK CAT as I was doing so. Uh, I did my UK CAT exam last year for the first time and um, as I think I mentioned in the previous video, which I'm not sure if I have, but anyway, um, last year my score was very low. It wasn't between the 10th decile and the zero, you know, it, it was just not there. It was not there at all. And um, I think I got about very below average, I think about 400. And... Um, for each section basically, or 450, sometimes 500, but overall it wasn't good, but I think my situational judgment wasn't good, which was three, I think, band three basically, it wasn't good, it wasn't good at all, and that was my first time practicing, um, I only prepared for it for a week, say that's what I'm coming, what I'm talking about, I did it, it didn't work, so, um, this could be useful for you to not do that. But anyway, my story, you know my story. If you don't know uh, right now, um, the, uh, what I'm doing, I'm doing biomedical sciences on my final year of biomedical sciences. And I'm going to apply as a postgraduate for medicine. So I'm going to ap apply as a graduate entry medicine or GEM um, for medicine. So this is my first time applying, applying for medicine overall. I never applied for medicine before and I've never done the UCAS application before for medicine. I've never done anything, personal statement, nothing. And last year I only did a UK CAD exam practice to just know how it's done and how it, you know, how it works, just to familiarize myself with the exam. So um, that was the whole main reason for me doing that. I wasn't going to apply for medicine last year at all. I didn't have the choice to do so. Um, you can only apply on your third year, which basically after you apply, if you get the place, you will study medicine straight away after you finish your degree. So that's my my thing um, right now, what I'm doing. Um, anyway, um, so the first thing I would say definitely, 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 and I will leave it down on the description below, definitely go and follow or su subscribe to the UK Cat blog website. That is very important that you should definitely do. And I'm not telling this because I am in, a, you know, um, this video is not sponsored by any any of the, the, the names or the companies or 
the uh, Chichichans that I'm actually telling you the name right now in this video. None of them are sponsored. This video is not sponsored by none of them. They don't even know me. And um, I'm just a student and I'm using them, the, the resources. I'm using their tips and advices and I'm doing a review on them, whether good or bad. And what I can only tell you is to suggest you some advices for you to work on them. It could not work for you. It might not work for you. It depends. Every people have different strategies that would work for them. And I'm just going to talk about my strategies and what I think you should do if you had uh, or if you felt related to the way that those strategies worked for me. That makes sense. So if, if the strategies that I worked work for you, then you can use the, my advices for other things as well, hopefully. Uh, anyway, the things that I would definitely say, as I said, go and sus subscribe to the UK Cat blog uh, website. Definitely use the UK Cat official exam uh, practice questions. They are very very good. I am going to give you tips, which I've already, uh, you know, read from the UK Cat blog. First of all, do not start with timed um, timed conditions like under timed conditions exams. Don't do the exams or test under timed con like don't time them. It's just not. It's gonna stress you out. First of all. It's going to stop motivating you. You are motivated enough to watch this video. So you shouldn't be doing that. Don't be hard on yourself or harsh on yourself. There's no need to, to do that. So you just want to do the exam stress-free because stress is the one thing that could cause you so much problem. So, so many problems. And I, first of all, I, I'm, I'm so sorry for my English. I'm not um, English is not my first language. So if I'm talking like that, just I hope it makes sense. But anyway, what I was saying, um, yeah, stress free. You don't want any stress if it's six weeks to the exam, if it's eight weeks to the exam, or if it's a day to the exam. No stress. There is no need to stress. First of all, it's not the end of the world if you didn't get this score. Now, recommendations, I would definitely say again, I would definitely say UK Cat blog, official UK Cat pr practice questions, and I would definitely recommend you to use Medify as well. The Medify website is a website that um, has over 8,000, I think 8,000 questions, practice questions that you can practice, and um, you can do it under timed and or you know timed and, or not timed conditions. You, you can do whatever you really want. However, um, I would definitely recommend you to buy some books as well. Some people are really good with using the electronic uh, devices like computers. You know, the exam is done with the computer so you might as well they might think okay you might as well use the computer and that's right you need to get used to the um way you should be using the computer you know the keyboard it's very important to basically find the shortcuts for example one of the shortcuts is how to go to the next question for you to take that mouse and click on short like on next to go for the next question that takes you three to four seconds and i'm telling you that three to four seconds means like life it means like it basically is that worthy in this exam that you don't want to do it so what i would definitely tell you to do go and watch a video of or watch a video or basically um read about the shortcuts uh, keyboard shortcuts for the next previous question and how to flag a, que a question so that's very important definitely do that uh, which that was one of the things that actually helped me a lot um, which I didn't know and it actually helped me a lot so first of all I did my I started with the UK camp blog I signed up for the 30 day uh, challenge uh, which they basically motivate you and push you towards you know challenging yourself every single day and uh, to do the questions to use the bank uh, the question banks on the Uf official UK CAT uh, website and it basically familiarizes you, you with the questions, UK CAT questions and how they are done and it, it gives you tips and advices on how to do them, what you should be doing, um, what is the 
the same like keyboard shortcut it tells you um, many things that are very helpful so that's the, the thing I did first I started doing the bank uh, the questions bank one two and three and um, that took me and I did actually some you know preparations for the other like I did actually mock I did a mock exam I think I did a mock exam too uh, but yeah I did prepare like that and um, my first mock exam that I did the, t the first test I did uh, my score was about 1700 I think so it was 1700 which is not good it's not good and I think my average was about 450 or 500 between 450 to 530 so that was my average so it's not good it's not good at all and I, I knew that fully so what I did um, the whole purpose of this 30 day challenge is for you to get better and better every single day so for you to be able to improve you need to at least spend at least at least two hours of your day preparing for your UK CAD exam and that two hours a day is an exam so for you to do an exam takes you two hours which is not hard it goes like this there is no way that you're gonna feel tired yes you might feel like you might feel exhausted in the middle thinking oh when is this gonna end but it's gonna become fun at the end of the day um, as you practice it it's just gonna you can see that you're improving and you make it you it, it just feels like you're doing something fun now what I did after was I started writing notes down. Now, UK Cat, usually people say you don't need to write any notes down for it, there is no need to, because you're not actually revising for anything, because you don't know the questions. Now, people tell you that you can't prepare for it. You can prepare for it. There is no way that you can't. You can prepare for it, and I know that even in the, after two weeks, because I saw improvements. Um, one thing that I would definitely say, is that write your notes down so whatever tips and strategies you come across uh, write them down on a piece of paper for each section you no know, one thing one of the tips that i actually used and it was really good was the fact that they were telling you um if you are seeing a long passage that you're going to have to you know um, answer if you didn't get that time uh, to do if, or if you didn't see yourself being able to do the passage then move on. Move on from that passage and go to the small short ones. Don't forget that each question warrants one mark. So if you do the long passage or you don't and do the short passage, you still will get the one mark. So that's important for you to flag the long passage one and go to the ones that you can actually do. And that goes with every single question. So whether it's abstract reasoning question, uh, um, quantitative reasoning, decision making, or even situational judgment. If you are, you see yourself not being able to do them, move on. There's no need to spend time on that because definitely one of the tricks that UK Cat does, or any exam does, they put the hardest question at first. That basically um, demotivates you and it will make you not really do good in your exam and that's what they want you to do. Every exam, wants to find your qualities um, and how you can handle a situation so or a question so if you, you you find a question hard to go to the next one that's one thing that we've been told for many years in our primary school high school or even college so that's definitely one of the other things that i would say you should be doing right now the uk cat books now the uk cat books i would recommend you to get because i was I basically I watched many YouTube videos and um, many websites that have recommended these two books which are very important for you to get now the first one I would recommend definitely get this book is the 1250 UK cat book which is very important to you for you to get now this book has all the past to practice questions that that are harder than the exam so i've heard that it, they are very hard the second book that i would definitely recommend you as i said more than one billion billion times the uk cat blog book this book is everything this book is everything and i mean it and how do i mean it why do i say that is because i'm 
only on the page 23 right now and I feel like I can do this. So I definitely recommend you to get this book. This book is the god like literally to you gay cat I think. Uh, but yeah, this is the two weeks down the line of how I'm doing, the advices and tips that I just gave you and I hope they're useful and they're going to be useful. But I will be back with you again in the ho uh, hopefully in the next two weeks uh, or the next week. Uh, it depends on how I will find it or what I will do and what uh, tips and advices I can give you. So I hope that this video was useful for you and I hope the advices that I give you for my two weeks of preparation helped you. So please do, um, as I said again, please do subscribe to the UK Cat blog website and um, do the UK Cat official exams go and sign up for the uh, the 30 day challenge uh, of the UK cat blog uh, website and get these two books so how to score the top percentile and 1250 uh, practice questions of UK cat booklet which is from the um, get into medical school books this book is very big and heavy however it has many questions which you can prepare for uh, the UK cat with. So uh, I hope this video helped you and I hope to see you again on my next video. Take care and have a great day. Bye!